forever. Meaning, these are the ones who are going to be the priests forever who are ordained. Now we look up and we say, well, anybody slaughtered any rams? Anybody slaughtered any bulls? The wine and the bread. These are men or are they women? Are they without blemish? Are they fornicators, adulterers, homosexuals? And then you're saying that these people who you have in the new tabernacle and in the church that you call it today are priests to minister before God? When he said that forever, this is who I want. And then you're going to present yourself and say, I'm who you said that you wanted. And he looking and saying, no, you're not without blemish. No, you're a female. No, nah, the scriptures say come as you are. Yeah, that's right. And the only ones that I want coming are the ones that are unblemished, male and young. That's right. Come as you are. But the only ones I want coming forward for this position. Did you hear what I said? I'm not talking about for nothing else that y'all talking about to be singer or whatever. The only ones I want coming forward for this position. Come as you are. That's right. But the only ones that should be coming forward for this position is unblemished young men. That's all. Ordination. What are you authorized to do in front of God? There should be no man. There should be no male as God has created him to step forward to offer himself in the position of wise gatekeeper, helpmate for a husband. Did you hear what I said? I'm going to repeat myself. What are you ordained for? What are you created? What is going to be your purpose under God? There should be no man. Come as you are. But the only ones coming forward for the position of wise gatekeeper helpmate should be women. Did you see that? There should be no man to come forward in front of God and say, well, I know what you said, but my heart is in it. I feel like my spirit has moved me with the unction. And I know I'm a male as you created me, but I would love to do this position of wise gatekeeper helpmate for this man here. What I'm saying is the father has not ordained men to be married to men. He has not ordained one man to be married to another man and to be his helpmate. That's for all time. And so what I've just done with the word of God is delegitimize. In fact, not delegitimize because you've never been legitimate. Any one of you tabernacles or churches that has married men. And you know that their marriages are void. And they could never stand in front of the father. Because it's not ordained. And the person who performed it. The ceremony is not ordained. Because anyone who stepped forward in front of the Father and was ordained would never do such a thing. Ordination. So make sure that when you decide that you want to come forward, that you're coming forward in a way that's acceptable in front of God. Did you understand that? Not that you're going to come forward in your own way and then force God to accept you. Are y'all hearing this? You're not going to come forward in total disrespect of God 
and then say, because my heart is in it, I want you, the Father, to accept my lie, my desecration, my recalcitrance. Did you hear what I said? I want to force the Father to accept my disrespect because my heart is in it. And he has already told you, this one is not for people like you. I'm coming to a close. It's not a long one. Not a long one because it's straightforward. And I don't see why we have so many debates about stuff like this. The world is so confused right now. People enter into these protracted, long philosophical debates about something that's quite clear in the scripture. That the father didn't equivocate. When they asked Christ, he said marriage is between one man and one woman, not between two women. Not between a man and a man. So they said that plainly. 